My name is Dr. Anil Sachdev. I'm an SHO in acute medicine here in the UK. I will arrive at work, typically an hour, half an hour or an hour early. I will then sit at the computer and print off my list. This is a list of the patients who are my responsibility. The last job I did, I had 13 patients under my care. I am their responsible clinician. I will arrive at the, on the ward, I will print off my list, which I had updated the day before, and then I will speak to the nurse in charge about anything crazy that may have happened during the night. Because the nurses arrive an hour before the doctors, and they usually finish two or three hours later than the doctors. Then I will start my ward round. I will go from patient to patient and ask them, how are you feeling? Do you have any complaints? I will check their observations, their blood reports, and the results of any scans. I will then give an assessment, then I go to the next patient, which could be a lot more complicated, and I do this for all 13 patients. Whilst I'm doing this, I will also prepare a list of jobs that I want to discuss with the consultant. Consultants are just that, they are there to be consulted. He or she will want to teach you, they will want to help you. So you speak to the consultant, and then around midday, around 1pm, you know, we'll break for lunch, and then come back onto the ward and we will do the jobs that we've put in place. And then I'll do those jobs between the hours of, let's say one and five. When I was 18, I applied to study medicine. Sadly, I was unsuccessful. I wanted to give up. I met a friend of mine who was studying medicine in Europe. This is when I started to consider the alternative, seriously consider it. Naturally, I was very hesitant. At first, I was scared. I was scared of things like the cost, the language barrier, the cultural shock, and most importantly, is it recognized in the UK? I spoke to my family doctor about it and he said, speak to the GMC. So I did. I phoned the GMC, I emailed the GMC, and they gave me all the answers that I needed. So I applied to study medicine in Romania. I got a place right away. The course is taught entirely in English for the whole duration of the studies, all in English, which means that it's not necessary to learn the local language, but you really should. The diploma, the degree that you leave with is somewhat superior. Please excuse me, I'm not trying to be rude, but it is somewhat superior to that that you get from the UK, because in the UK you qualify with an MBBS, but in Europe you qualify with an MD. Okay, this is what the GMC, the General Medical Council said this. A qualification as an MD grants you full registration. As an MBBS, studying at Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Leeds, that gets you provisional registration. So even though people say, oh, I can't study in Europe because I have to spend six years in Europe, whereas only, I only have to spend five in the UK, yeah, you do five years in the UK and graduate as an F1. You do six years in Europe and graduate as an F2. So really, it's the same. Registering with the GMC is easy. You create an online account, you send them an email, they say, email us the scans of these papers, you do it, and then you, they say, come down for an identity check. You go down to London or Manchester, you bring the original papers, you sit in front of a camera, they take a picture, and they say, congratulations, you're now registered with the GMC. <laughs> now, when you apply for jobs, the easiest way to do it is via the NHS Jobs website. It's simple. You just create a portfolio that contains your educational history, your previous experience, any additional courses you may have been on, any skills that you feel will benefit you as a clinician. Then you click and you've applied. Then you may be called in for an interview. You will be taken through your CV. Then they will ask you a clinical scenario and then they will ask you a situational judgment question. The process is actually very straightforward and of course by this point you will have been prepared on a number of clinical scenarios which SME, Study Medicine Europe, will have advised you on. They'll advise you on how to deal with it in order for you to nail the interview. When I was 17 years old, I attended a conference at the University of Nottingham. This conference was a three-day event designed to inspire and motivate us to convince us to study medicine. We received lectures from doctors, from surgeons, from current medical students, and of many, many people. It was really amazing. They spoke to us about what it's like to work in their specific field, how to get into medical school, and how to choose a specialty. I left that conference inspired and motivated. I remember coming home and promising myself two things. I was number one, was that one day, I would be a qualified doctor working in this country. 
with a full license to practice, working for the NHS. And promise number two was that one day it will be me motivating and inspiring hundreds of thousands of youngsters, convincing them to pursue a career in medicine. Today, I'm 30 years old and I've kept both my promises.